We picked a random Thursday afternoon in October. We came to Newark Airport in the early afternoon, the least busy time. Almost immediately, we found passengers standing dazed and confused around the luggage carousels. Brad and Nancy Barnes have flown from Texas for a once a year carefree getaway weekend in New York City. Sort to get away from the kids and just have some fun. The Barnes flight into New York's LaGuardia Airport was canceled. So American Airlines flew them into Newark instead. They arrived, their bags did not. I had all of our outfits packed, everything we were gonna wear. <laughs> no, have nothing, no clothes. Over at Continental's luggage area, Carl and Anna Gustafson are feeling equally put out. They've flown nonstop from Los Angeles for a two-week trip along the East Coast. We checked four bags. Uh, three made it and one didn't. It's a garment bag with our dress clothes, dress shoes, overcoats, etc. Ron Katich has also arrived on Continental nonstop from Phoenix. He's in town on business to meet new clients. I got one bag. Still waiting for my other bag that has all my suits, clothes, everything else in it. We follow Ron with our hidden cameras and get the first clue as to why passengers get peeved over lost luggage. He goes over to Continental's baggage claim office, if you don't know what you're doing, where he waits and waits and waits for 30 minutes in line just to speak to an agent. And then he can only watch as the agent types and types and types for another 20 minutes into a computer. Until finally he hands Ron a claim form with an 800 number. So then you think it's going to be in at 7 o'clock. You're right. guessing that. Right. You're doing. Yeah. Okay. I can't have a guess. It wasn't a good experience. I would say the customer service was lousy. And how do Brad and Nancy fare over at American Airlines Lost Luggage Office? We were playing there for 20, 30 minutes, and, and they gave us this piece of paper. And Much the know, same way. And a 1-800 number, and sort of a wish and a prayer that we'll get our luggage. The 800 number, the mythical place where they trace your bags and can tell you where they are and when they're coming your way. All of the passengers we found were reassured someone at those 800 numbers would have an answer, that the airlines were on the case and would almost certainly live up to their pledge to find and return the lost luggage within the next 24 hours. And while no one is offered money to buy essential personal items that he or she might need right away... My glasses, my contact stuff, you know, I mean, everything is in there. They head for their hotels. What's there to worry about, right? Eight o'clock later that night in New York City, six hours into their romantic getaway weekend, Brad and Nancy have been spending their time with their lips pressed to the phone, calling once every hour or so to American's 800 number. Even though American has promised it will, quote, attempt to contact customers who've provided phone numbers. The people that answered didn't know where uh, the luggage was. They didn't know who we were, and the uh, number that they told us to give them uh, did not track our baggage. Brad's been forced to buy clothes. All he'd worn on the plane were shorts and a t-shirt. So he and Nancy can keep a long planned dinner reservation on this their first big night away from the kids. He's purchased some other personal items too. Will American reimburse him? He says they've said no repeatedly. Brad and Nancy are clearly having a streak of bad luck. This restaurant where they'd planned to dine was shut down. There'd been a fire. <laughs> We are the out-of-towners. This is a nightmare. For businessman Ron Katich, the nightmare extends into the next morning. He's in suburban New Jersey and now 20 hours into his working weekend has heard nothing from Continental, despite its pledge that someone from its state-of-the-art baggage resolution center will contact him. Instead, Ron's on his fifth phone call to the Continental 800 number. 085008. As at the airport, he's forced to wait for nothing. Thank you. So he heads off to meet those new clients in his jeans and a borrowed shirt. As for Carl and Anna Gustafson, last night Continental's 800 number agent seemed quite optimistic. She also used the expression there was a 99% chance that it would be here 
uh, in the morning. But the next morning, Carl is stunned to learn there's a 100% chance that his luggage is somewhere else. And they told me that yes, the bags had been located. They were in Lisbon, Portugal. Portugal? What? Somehow, the unattended bag breached security and made it all the way to Lisbon. To make matters worse, Continental can't get it back to Carl for four days, when they'll be in Maine. It's a significant hassle. So they must shop. Carl's got several parties and no clothes. I like this. And replacing them will mean okay. a big bill.